Studying neuroendocrinology and sitting in the hub at University of Washington, speaking aloud, recording a video, no longer has freedom involved in silence. However, I can't solve the problem with neuroendocrinology and endocrinology and behavior and neuropsychology and neuropsychiatry and neurology and all of the other parts of health and medicine with no gender, gender neutral, transgender, and those who are taking puberty blockers they study here at University of Washington. Where do you begin to have a conversation with a patient involving compassion and care to end suffering with these mysteries and secrets I can't solve mathematically and with language. To solve a problem and decide a treatment for a human who has no gender, who takes puberty blockers, who's transgender and who has no gender at all. However, still need a body, brain, working properly to prevent cancer and diseases and later on disorders and neurological problems, I can only begin to describe as scary and emotional. 